Juan was handing. So it's being reported that Errol the True Spence Jr. is fighting Keith Thurman in April. So it's to say that the contracted weight is supposed to be at 154, not a catch weight. They're actually really fighting at Super Walter weight. So that being said, um, I like the matchup. I like the idea of it. Um, I mean, he's, they, they, this isn't um, interfering at all with the undisputed uh, uh, potential between Spence and Crawford, which we know we'll never see. But at the end of the day, at least, you know, um, it, it's a smart business play, bro. Because, you know what I'm saying, by Bud being at 147, you know what I mean? Like, I, I'm going out on a limb and saying this, that, you know what I'm saying, they hoping and wishing that Bud lose. You feel me? That, 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 from, from, from Spencer's perspective, why right, you go ahead and, 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 and keep this thing going by keeping logs in the fire, by fighting Thurman at 154, right? That's your entry point there. See how you fell out up there. You know what I mean? Get a fans the, 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 the explosive firework fight that we want to see. But at the same time, keep the doors open for undisputed matchup at, at Walter Wade. So it's a win-win, in my opinion, for everybody. You know, but unfortunately, uh, Keith Thurman is not going to get a shot at all three of those titles. Rightfully so, he shouldn't, c considering the fact that um, that you know he, he's he's really done nothing to um to get that shot. And uh, uh, by Jerome Bruce Ennis, you know, having that IBF uh, slot open uh, uh, to fight Spence, bro, it, uh, Errol Spence, bro. This this why I got nothing but love for Errol Spence, bro. Cause, Cause, bro, he gonna find a way. He gonna find a way to get a fans to fights that we want to see, regardless of the circumstances, bro. This man get an accident. God forbid he get in any more accidents, bro. It just don't matter, bro. It don't matter, man. Or uh, detached retina with his eye. He gonna find a way to give us the fights we want to see. He gave it to us with um. He tried to give it to us with Manny Pacquiao. You know what I mean? The thing with his issue with his eye, but he turned around and um unified with Ugas. Bro, so so you can't tell me that this man, after after as long as the drama went on between he and Keith Thurman, and Keith Thurman didn't get this man no kind of play at the um, at what was it, the WBA Super? Didn't get this man no kind of play at that at that spot, bro. And and, and, and come out and um now and they come to terms with uh, Keith Thurman, which they're finalizing. That you know what I mean nothing's been announced yet, but they're finalizing it. For it to be at 154, that's that's showing you that Errol Spence is willing to do whatever it takes, bro, to to to, to satisfy everybody, bro, including himself, bro. Because you get a nice tune up at 154, you are keeping the doors open for any um, undisputed potential and your own um, mandatory requirements at 147. You're giving the fans the fights we want to see. So you know what I'm saying? It's just bro, break go to show you, bro, how how. How bad business is with Terrence Bud Crawford, bro? Because he's not maneuvering, he's not doing anything like what Spence is doing, bro. See, this is the kind of energy we need to see from fighters, bro. You know what I'm saying? Positive energy from a champion, from a real champion who ain't scared to fight a brother. Let me know how y'all feel about him, box below, peace.